After a long day of work, you step outside and enjoy the wonderful evening. The sun has already descended beneath the horizon, so different stars begin to emerge. Suddenly, you notice something exceptionally bright illuminating the western part of the night sky. You point your gaze at it, and you realize that you haven't witnessed anything brighter than that thing. Could it be yet another star? An aircraft? A supernova? Or perhaps even a UFO? Generations of people before you have also looked up to the sky, amazed by the beauty of this evening star, which actually happens to be the brightest celestial object after the sun and the moon. This is Venus. Carry on watching this video to learn more about this exceptionally vivid planet, which can be seen in all parts of the Earth in the summer of 2023. I promise, will be very interesting. Hi there, Mihailo is here. Um, yeah, the thing that you see every day in the evening sky is nothing else than Venus. It became visible by the end of the previous year, and since then it has been rising steadily above the horizon. On June 4th, Venus achieved its highest point in the sky, thus remaining visible for several hours after sunset. Additionally, Venus is visible almost all the way until midnight in the most northern places of our planet. According to the information that I found on Wikipedia, the most reliable source of information by the way, uh, Venus can be called either as the morning star or the evening star. What we're seeing right now is the evening star, because Venus is visible in the evening in the western part of the sky right after sunset. Later in the year, Venus will transition to the eastern sky and will rise a few hours before sunrise. Thus, it will be called the morning star. It's important to know that between the evening and morning star's phases, Venus will not be visible as it will be located close to the sun. Occasionally, Venus can also pass in front of the Sun as observed from Earth. The most recent such occurrence took place in June 2012 and was quite beautiful to see. The next transit will be visible only in December 2117 and December 2125. It's actually possible that some of my subscribers may live long enough to witness these remarkable astronomical events. Nevertheless, how can I be so sure that this star is actually Venus? Well, first of all, nothing can be brighter than Venus except for the sun and the moon. And if you look at Venus in the evening right after sunset, you can easily notice how vivid it is. Second, you can install any sky map and then look toward the west. You see, here we can see Venus again. Lastly, I recently pointed my telescope toward it and even took some pictures. This really looks like Venus because it looks like a crescent. You see, Venus is an inferior planet, a planet that is closer to the Sun than Earth is. Inferior planets as seen from Earth undergo a phase change as they orbit the Sun. Therefore, Venus is seen as a crescent that actually changes its shape over time. This is what Venus looked like in May, and this is what it will look like by the end of August. Quite impressive, isn't it? What's cool is that you don't need a big telescope in order to see this planet. Any small telescope and even some binoculars will allow you to see the crescent face of this planet. What's interesting is that on June 21st will come another opportunity to observe Venus along with some other celestial objects. On this day, there will be a fascinating conjunction of our natural satellite, Venus, and the fourth planet from the Sun, Mars. The planets will be located fairly close to each other, and both of them will be visible all the way until the end of July. Since you already know that finding Venus can be achieved by simply looking west after sunset, finding Mars also won't be a problem. After successfully pinpointing the location of Venus, you can then locate Mars, which is slightly higher above Venus. Due to its considerable distance from Earth, Mars will not look as magnificent as Venus. Instead, it will look like a small red sphere, a perfect world to be inhabited by billionaires. What's interesting is that Venus will gradually increase in brightness and apparent size over time, reaching its peak brightness on the evening of July 7th. Therefore, even though the views of Mars may not be as beautiful, you will still have the opportunity to admire the captivating planet of Venus. As you probably already know, 
The second planet from the Sun is sometimes referred to as the Earth's twin. Actually, our planet and Venus have a lot of similarities in terms of size and structure, despite Venus being a complete hell. According to NASA, its surface is incredibly hot, which in temperatures high enough to melt lead. It may be surprising to some people, but Venus is actually the hottest planet in our solar system. People always have a surprised Pikachu face whenever I share this fact with them, because they think that since Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun, then this planet should have the highest temperatures in the solar system. Actually, Venus is so hot due to its thick atmosphere, composed of carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid clouds that together create a very strong greenhouse effect. As a result, the planet traps heat, preventing it from escaping, thus speeding Mercury in the heat competition. Venus scorching conditions might even rival those found in Arizona, but I'm not so sure about that. The thick atmosphere of Venus is also the reason why we cannot see any details of Venus surface using a telescope on Earth. If you take pictures of Venus using your optical instrument, you'll notice that Venus has a continuous color without any details of both the surface and the atmosphere. In order to see the clouds of Venus, you need to use a specific filter. Now that looks more exciting. As you can see, observing Venus is not that hard. And after you finish watching this video, you can go outside and take pictures of the planet yourself. If you're a lucky owner of this magnificent optical instrument, point your telescope at the planet in order to see the face of the evening star. Even though it may look small, remember that you're looking at a giant world located millions of kilometers away from us. If you'd like to see more videos about space and planet observations in the future, please consider subscribing. And as always, thank you for watching very interesting videos. Bye.